This video is going to walk you through how to divide whole numbers by fractions. When dividing whole numbers by fractions, or dividing fractions by fractions, there are three steps to follow. We're going to try to remember the acronym KFC. That's going to stand for Keep, Flip, and Change. Let's look at four examples here. Let's walk through each one using the KFC method above. Example 1. Divide 6 by 2 thirds. The KFC rules apply when dividing fractions by fractions, so let's take our whole number of 6 and change it into a fraction by placing it over 1. We can now rewrite our problem to be 6 over 1 divided by 2 thirds. The first step is K, that is for keep the first fraction the same, so 6 over 1 stays 6 over 1. F is for flip, that is for the second fraction. We're going to flip or find the reciprocal of the second fraction. What that means is the denominator becomes a numerator or numerator becomes denominator. The second fraction is now 3 over 2. Finally, C is for change. We'll change the sign from division to multiplication. The problem is now written as 6 over 1 times 3 over 2. You can solve it just like any other fraction multiplication problem. We multiply straight across. 6 times 3 is 18 and 1 times 2 is 2. 18 over 2 is the answer, which can be simplified down to 9, as 2 goes into 18 a total of 9 times. Example 2. Divide 3 by 3 fifths. First thing we do is change 3 into 3 over 1, and we keep that fraction the same. We flip our second fraction to be 5 thirds, and now we multiply. 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 3 is 3. 15 over 3 is our answer, which can also be simplified down as 3 goes into 15 a total of 5 times. Example 3. What is 4 divided by 4 thirds? So in this example, we're going to divide a whole number by an improper fraction. But that doesn't matter. The process is exactly the same. We start by putting 4 over 1. We flip 4 thirds to be 3 fourths, and we change the sign to multiplication. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 4 is 4. 12 over 4 can be simplified down to just 3. Example 4. What is 9 divided by 8 sevenths? Another improper fraction. We place 9 over 1 to put it in a fractional form. We then flip 8 sevenths to be 7 eighths, and we multiply across. 9 times 7 is 63, and 1 times 8 is 8. Now, 8 can go into 63 a total of 7 times. 8 times 7 is 56. When you subtract that from 63, you get a remainder of 7. That remainder of 7 is placed over the 8, and our final answer is 7 and 7 eighths. Just remember, keep the first fraction the same, flip the second fraction, and change your sign to multiply. Hopefully you were able to follow along. If you were, give this video a like so more people can see it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.